boys and girls. Today we are going to be working some more on super kids. I want you guys to make sure that you are on page 28. So look for the 28 at the bottom of the page and that'll make sure that you're where you need to be. So let's look up at the top of the page. I see Edabetta and I see a little speech bubble. And the speech bubble tells me that that's Edabetta who is talking. These are things Edabetta is saying. So let's read what Edabetta is saying. I like Lip flips, flips. I like lip flips. Lip flips are Edabetta's own funny way of saying she likes silly tongue twisters. Tongue twisters, remember, are silly phrases or sentences that are hard to say quickly. Okay? So let's read this one more time. I like lip flips. So Edabed has made some lip flips for the super kids to say. So let's look at each super kid and say the lip flips with them, okay? So let's look at this one, this first one here, ready? Big bugs sip pop. Let's read that a little faster. Big bugs sip pop. Let's read this next one. Quick. Quick ducks quack. Let's read it again. Quick ducks quack. Let's read what Alf says. Eleven, eleven, eleven lemons. Lemons, eleven lemons. Try saying eleven lemons really fast. Eleven lemons, eleven lemons, eleven lemons. See, it's kind of hard. Eleven lemons. All right, let's look at page 29 now. We're going to be flipping back and forth between these two a little bit. Let's look at what Cass is saying. Twins, twins spin. Twins spin. Say that really fast. Twins spin, twins spin, twins spin, twins spin, twins spin. A little tricky. And this last one that Sal is saying. Crabs, crabs, grab rabbits. Crabs grab rabbits. Crabs grab rabbits. So those are all the lip flips that Edabetta made up. Now I want you to go back and look at page 28 again. We're going to learn a new memory word today. The new memory word is right down here. I'm underlining it in green. And then I'm going to trace it in black. Here's my black marker. So this says Edabetta S A I D. Remember, a memory word is a word that we can't sound out because it just doesn't work for us. So we have to remember what it looks like. S A I D spells set. Can you say that for me? S A I D set. Let's do it one more time. S A I D set. So, at a better set. This is another way of showing what Edabetta is saying. So you can show what Edabetta is saying by writing a speech balloon, like up here, or you can use words to explain what Edabetta is saying. Edabetta said, and now I see a comma, and I see these two little lines here, these two little lines up here, those are called quotation marks. Can you say that? Quotation marks. The words here that are in quotation marks do a squiggly line under it. It says, I like lip flips. Isn't that what was up here in the speech balloon? I like lip flips. So the words that are in quotation marks tell us exactly what Edabetta said. Just like the words in a speech balloon can tell us exactly what somebody says. So in your writing or your drawing, you can use a speech balloon to say what someone says. Or you can use their name, so Edabetta, the word said, and quotation marks to tell us what someone is saying as well. Pretty cool. So let's practice using that new memory word said, all right? Tick, S-A-I-D. Can you trace that? S-A-I-D. So tick. Said, and let's read, big bugs sit pop. Does that match what Tick said up here? 
big bet bugs sip pop. Very good. It does match. Now let's do this one. Talk. Trace it. S A I D. Talk said. Quick ducks quack. Talk said. Quick ducks quack. Notice. There's our quotation marks again. The words that are between those two quotation marks match what's in Tak's speech bubble. Alf, now we're going to write said all by ourselves. Let's write it. S A I D. Alf said 11 lemons. Notice again the words between our quotation marks match exactly what Alf was saying in his speech balloon. Now let's look at page 29. There's a couple more that we need to finish up. Cass, let's trace it again. S A I D. Cass said twins spin. Read it. Cass said, twins spin. Do these match? They sure do. And last one, Sal said, remember said is S-A-I-D. Sal said, crabs grab rabbits. Crabs grab rabbits. That matches Sal's speech balloon up here. So we're going to keep working with that new memory word said. Make sure you're practicing that at home, everyone, all right? That's a really important one that you're going to see in tons and tons and tons of stories. Right, now, I notice down here, I see some pictures. You're going to need scissors and glue for this next part. So if you need to, go ahead and pause and get your scissors and glue. You are going to cut, starting on this line here, so if it's in if you print it in color, it's in purple. If you didn't, it just looks right like that. You're going to cut on those lines, and then you're going to separate one, two, three, four, five pictures. So go ahead and cut those out. And these pictures match all of Edabella's, Edabetta's silly lip flips. So you're going to glue them like a lift the flap, all right? So can you find the picture of the 11 lemons? Find the picture of the 11 lemons. It's right down here. You're going to find who said 11 lemons. Who I remember it was out. So you're going to take your picture of the 11 lemons. You're going to put a little bit of glue right up here at the top of the speech bubble. And then you're going to glue your picture here. So then you can look at the picture and flip it back up and read the lip flip. Does that make sense? We're gonna do that for all of the lip flips. So find the quick ducks quacking, glue the picture, just a little bit of glue up at the top, maybe even just a little piece of tape if that's what you have. It might be a little easier. And lift, and you've got a flap. All right, so that's what you're gonna do for the rest of these two pages. Where's my eraser? Here it is. And then when you're done, the last page you're going to do is you're going to practice using the word, writing the word said a little bit more. Remember said is S-A-I-D. So this is a little bit more practice with our new memory word. I see speech bubbles with Cass, Lily, and Doc, you are going to read their speech bubbles, and then you are going to write, Tack said, pet pigs pluck plums. Then you're going to tell me what Lily said. The word said is going to go here. The words from Lily's speech bubble are going to go down here. Then find what Doc said. The word said on that first line and then write the words that Doc said here on that line. And that is all for today, boys and girls. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great weekend and a happy Easter.